Hey everybody, it's Paul125 Roller Coaster Challenge and we're here at Adventure Pier in Wildwood, New Jersey, part of Maury's Pier. So this is, we always came from the north side, so this we always call the uh, third pier. But the big thing about this one is the extreme pier. This is where you have all those crazy rides. So we're gonna walk through real quick here now. We have permission, it doesn't open until five, but we got permission to actually walk through and show you all the attractions. And the first thing you're gonna see when you come on to Adventure Pier is the second Curly's location. Now Curly's is uh, pretty much a staple at Maury's Pier and Wildwood. It is crinkle fry but they're fantastic everybody loves them uh, like I said so much so that it's actually a mascot here and then right here where the adventure pier sign is you actually got some games which if you want to see all the uh, rides there uh, all the games that they have at Maury's Piers check out our let's play and over here they actually got a Aloha smoothie company which is fairly new and then you got a Cole Brothers so this is all right here in the front uh, and we'll show you the Aloha in a second but right here some more games and I'm right here, this is the first thing you're going to see when you get here. This is called Spring Shot. Now, I'd love to say that uh, my uh, daughter, Ari, uh, actually was on this ride years ago. And uh, it's a little bit too extreme for me, but for her, uh, she loved it. Now, the big thing about this ride is it's literally a, um, you know, you basically shoot straight up there. You see right there, you got that little carrier. You can actually go inside the carrier and it launches you straight up really high up you go higher than the pillars because of the thing it's 35 tickets but it's definitely uh more of an extreme ride uh than most people are there for now this is the aloha smoothie and yet again with the uh let's eat we're going to go through the whole thing with this but um pretty much here they've got the uh smoothie bowls uh ain't she sweet smoothie uh for uh, 10.95 and all that kind of stuff there, Amazon Warrior and all that. So yet again, when you check out our Let's Eat, that's going to give you a little bit more on that end. So over here is just a little Dippin' Dots area and a little coffee area here. So this is all before you get into the pier. So now we're actually going inside the pier. And over here, this is where they kind of have the, uh, the art box. So they got kind of a radio station, the coast broadcast here and stuff like that. And they have an Annie Ann's pretzel yet again. Uh, this is closed, but we're actually allowed to come on in here. Uh, over here, they got a three-point challenge, which, of course, uh, you know, everybody loves those. You go to three different stations, and you fire away. You win prizes. Now, this is the skyscraper. Now, uh, I like the fact that when it's closed, they actually just keep it in the uh, position like this. So, you don't see that all the time, where it's just basically hanging a 90-degree angle here. But this is 25 tickets, so it's a little bit less than the... Uh, other one here so it's pretty much $25 per person uh, but like I said this is the one where you actually swing really high up and you flip around flip around and flip around and over here that's the uh, three-point challenge and over here you actually got the soccer challenge which is kind of you know the same kind of game uh, but you know using it with soccer balls and guys score it into the different areas here and as we come farther back here like I said there's not as many attractions as the other piers but this is more of the extreme rides and right in front of us here is their uh, go-karts. And I love the fact that right over there is the dunes. So you're right out in the uh, ocean and stuff like that, right by the beach. But here is their go-karts. And we'll show you more of the go-karts as we walk farther back. But this is a whole go-kart section. But right here is another extreme ride. So this is our third extreme ride already. This is a scream and swing. And as you look over here, that's the uh, skyscraper where that is. This one is actually, it shoots you up and back, up and back at great heights. So the first time I ever saw one of these rides was over at Cedar Point. So this thing loves to launch out left, launch out right. So it is kind of crazy how nuts that is. And as we come over here, you've got your fourth extreme ride, which uh, actually isn't going right now, but this is called the Sky Coaster, where they literally, this is the one where they pull you back, uh, basically on a big bungee cord, and then they launch you and you go flying right on through so uh, yet again this is the extreme pier because you've got spring shot over there you got skyscraper you got scream and swing and you got the sky coaster these are all things that somebody at my age probably not going to do uh, but you know what it's great to see that uh, they give those options here on adventure pier adventure pier is appropriately named because it definitely is an adventure so right here is the grand prix raceway the go-karts and i want to show you that real quick here these are really good go-karts here. I love the fact that they're actually on the boards too. I've seen a lot of boardwalk parks where they actually kind of asphalt it over, but uh, they've got tons of cars here. And last but not least, this was our 125th coaster when we started the 125. It is great white. There's actually a photo of myself and Devin right there. Um, 
standing right there as we celebrate our 125th coaster. So I want to come back here a little bit more because the one thing about Great White is it is a wooden coaster, but it's got a steel frame, which you got to realize they are so close to the beach. And I'm going to show you that, uh, that really a wooden coaster will have a real tough time being this close to the shore. But uh, they were smart. They actually, right there, you can see all the uh, framing is steel and the track is wood. So to be honest with you, it's kind of like a reverse RMC. Uh, if you are familiar with Rocky Mountain construction, but we're gonna head out here to the end of the pier so I can actually show you uh, just how far out uh, Great White goes. It is a, uh, a really good coaster, actually. It's a it's one of my top uh, winning coasters there because it does feel like and ride like a winning coaster. It's just like I said, the supports kind of need to be um, steel just because of the weathering and stuff. So here we're at the edge of the pier, and right over there that is Mariner's Pier. But as you look right there, you can see how. Great White kind of crisscrosses itself all around, and it really dominates this pier. It pretty much is the highlight attraction of this pier, especially if you're not into go karts or extreme rides. So this is Paul One Two Five Roller Coaster Challenge, and we are over here at Adventure Pier at one part of Maury's Piers over in Wildwood, New Jersey. Thanks for watching.